G'day there and welcome to another Minecraft Edu tutorial. This one is going to show you how to use redstone to do some interesting stuff with kids. The first thing I'm going to show you is an AND gate. Um, I'll give you the big version and I'll show you the shorter version I actually used in my map creation. So what happens is these four redstone torches will power these four blocks here. Now you'll notice I've left a gap between them so they don't interfere with one another. And then what you can do is that will turn off redstone torches placed on the back of those blocks. So what you can do with this is if any one of those redstone torches gets destroyed you can use this to say open a door. I can find a door to open. So if I put a door down there, so pretend that door is, we'll put a little wall so that you can see when it opens. So if I break any one of these torches, that door should open. So that's an AND gate. If all of those are lit up, so if that torch and that torch and that torch and that torch are lit up, then that door will stay closed. You can of course, and you probably would, want to invert that signal, so I've shown that in a previous tutorial. So that door will be open only when all these four torches are lit up. Now, if one of those torches gets turned off, that door will be shut. So with, with the kids in my in my question map, I actually didn't use torches out here, I actually used levers. So if I just destroy all these torches and all this redstone just to neaten it up for you, and then if I put, I actually shortened this end gate down a bit to make it a little bit easier to fit in. So I had levers every second, every second one, and then I laid down, I might have to move some of this further, oh, no, I won't need that anymore. So then I laid two bricks out behind each of the switches. Now if you put a torch on the back of each of those switches, you basically, that switch will control whether that torch is on or off. So its default state is the torch is on, but if I turn that switch on it will power this block here, which will turn that torch off. So that means that might be the correct answer. So if that is the correct answer, and we're using an AND gate here, when those switches are off, right, these four torches are off, and that one there will stay on because there's no torch here. So that answer there is the correct answer. If I run redstone between them, you'll notice that it will stay lit up, all right, which will mean in this case the door will open. Okay, so you'd probably want to invert that signal. I might have to shift that across. So you'll need to invert that signal if you only want the door to open when the students get the correct answer. Of course all this wiring can be hidden um, behind walls and such. So at the moment that door is shut and it will stay shut until I manage to turn that that light there off. So that's easy to do if I know, know what the correct answer is. I just flick that lever, that powers that block, turns the light off which allows that door to open. If however I get the answer wrong, so if I trigger all of these, you'll notice that these lights behind the switch go off which lets these torches down the bottom here light up which will break my circuit to the door which will mean the door will not open. So you, that's one way of getting responses from students. If only if, so there's an AND gate here, if this torch and this torch and this torch and this torch are off, the door will open. But you can see the default for this torch is to stay on because it's behind, there is no torch here behind this switch. Um, so that's one way to get kids to answer questions. I hope that helps. Um, I will pause the recording and come back in a second and show you how to create um, a smaller panel of nine switches uh, ready to set up 
to an AND gate if you want and you can get responses from students that way. So hang tight and I'll be back in a second. G'day, welcome back. Uh, it's taken me about half an hour, it's probably only been about two seconds of video for you, but half hour for me to get this working. I built this ages ago and couldn't remember how to do it. So this is the front panel, you can see there are nine switches. Um, all of these switches are controlled separately, so back here is some pretty fancy wiring. Um, I'm just gonna sort of explain it as best I can. Um, each switch controls one wire, so that particular switch there controls this wire heading out in this direction here. And you'll see that I've actually inverted all the wires so that when... I'm getting a bit of lag, sorry. When, um, when the switches are off, all of the wires are off. So there's one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine wires coming out and they're all off um, and they are all separate too so if I trigger this one that will light up this particular wire here. Now how does this all work? Um, again it's taken me about half hour to get it right so I'll do my best. I started at the bottom here a torch in the center go down one block and run a wire all the way along um, I'll sink down a little bit here uh, I actually inverted the signal there so that um, this this wire stays off unless that switch is on. Um, for the other two bottom ones, just run a series of repeaters out. Um, repeaters don't interfere with one another, so you can run repeaters side by side. But if you try and run two wires side by side, you'll see that they join up and they'll interfere with one another. Um, so those two bottom wires on the outside just run repeaters. Um, and they will they will be off. Uh, the next next layer three torches across the center um, and then you go out to the side one there and invert the signal and then run repeaters so that they don't interfere with one another. Um, you could probably just run redstone wire there it won't actually interfere with the redstone with the repeaters there um, and the same on the other side so mirrored. So torch down one, put some redstone wire there, invert your signal and run your wire off that. For the top, this was the bit that had me most confused. Um, again, it's three torches across the top and then you go up, build on top and redstone wire that and then invert the signal about here and run the wire further out and the same on the other side. So you run, you put a block on top of the torch, so a block there on top of the torch, put some redstone on and invert your signal. So the two centre ones were the most tricky. Um, this torch is powering this repeater which sends power to this block which turns this torch off. So to build that, if I were to build that again, um, I'll get rid of all of these. So you put a block on this torch here and then go around behind it and place a repeater and you'll see that lot that um, gets uh, lit up. Um, you need to invert the signal um, and I just came above this because that block gets powered at some point or another so I'll place my redstone torch there which doesn't interfere with the wire above it because there's a redstone torch above it as well so that doesn't interfere with this block here. Uh, and then you come down a block and run your wire out along there. And don't forget your wire there, that's why that wire was on. And then the top centre, you put a block on top again, so on top of the torch. And then you pull the, pull the power out of that block with the repeater facing that way. And then, of course, invert your signal again before you get too far so that they're all the same. Um, I actually haven't used this, this particular setup in a classroom with kids. Um, I haven't had a need for nine, nine particular answers. Um, but the basic principle is the same. It's a big AND gate, or you could set it up into a big AND gate like I showed you with the last one. And um, set, select the right answers. Uh, I hope that helps. It's very confusing. It took me quite a while, but 
I will show you one more time what it looks like from the back as best I can so that you can reconstruct if you pause the video here hopefully you'll be able to reconstruct it good luck and I hope that helps thanks for watching